Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on mysterious and weird true stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Bonus file, written by Valor Stick. Secrets of the Boy Who Drowned. I have sisters who are twins. Let's call them Egg and Chicken. Which one was born first? Well, that's irrelevant. Anyways, I spent a lot of time with them as I babysat a lot, when my single mom worked, which typically meant I would play PlayStation at home to amuse them. So we had just moved to a new, it was an old house by a creek, house, and the first night I babysat them, while it was storming outside, something creepy happened. I was playing Monster Rancher 2 and my sister, Chicken, stared into the room next to us, which happened to be a closed off porch type entryway to the home. She was around 3-ish, I would have been 13 or 14-ish at the time, but didn't think too much about it as my other sister Egg paid it no mind. They were 3, children are weird. So the next day while I was outside with my sister, I noticed the creek had risen a lot which made sense because of all the rain the previous night, while my sister Chicken kept clinging to me while we were outside, staring at the little walking bridge that went over the creek. She was normally talkative but wasn't saying a word and she eventually wanted me to pick her up so I did. Egg in the meantime was minding her own business, running in circles and humming which was kind of her morning routine. We did later find out she has autism, I believe Asperger's was the final diagnosis, but they never seemed to settle on it. After Egg finished running around, we went back inside and Chicken finally relaxed a little bit, but she stayed close to me all day. Later that night, it was the usual me playing games with them sitting next to me or on me, and then out of nowhere, Chicken looks into the entryway and just starts screaming bloody freaking murder. She was pointing into the corner of the entry and screaming, crying. She covered her face and tried to crawl away. I still can't describe how I felt to this day. So I called my grandparents, who rushed over, all the while Chicken was freaking out. They finally arrive and after a while, she calms down. The next day, everything is like the past 24 to 48 hours, like it never happened. She was happy as a clam after, no issues for weeks. And then it rained and stormed again. To save on time, basically the same stuff happened all over and over again. It would storm, she would be weird about the entryway, and then stare at the walking bridge the next day and then freak out that night staring into the entryway. It didn't take me long to figure out the pattern of the storms causing her freakouts. Most everyone just assumed she was afraid of them, but that didn't explain a lot of the other behaviors but I don't think they believe me since I was a teen, taking care of two kids. Anyways, the creepiest night happened when Egg, who is usually very quiet, hardly talks, spoke up. At this point, we had lived there for three-ish months and Chicken was sleeping in my bed at this point because she was always kind of afraid. It was supposed to storm that night and instead of having me babysit alone, my grandma and great aunt came over to help. They wanted me to do what I usually do, so I played PlayStation, I think I was onto WWE or F Smackdown 2, if curious. When it started to rain and storm, Chicken lost her crap and started freaking out, pointing at the entryway, which is odd because she usually didn't do that until the day after the storm. While Chicken is screaming bloody murder, Egg, who hardly spoke or could communicate very well, goes, oh, and walks into the entryway, points to the corner and goes, you mean him? I cannot describe how heavy the room felt in that instant. I think that was the first time in my life I felt dread. I do not know. That moment is crystallized in my head. I'm not sure how long after though, it felt like time froze. I felt like I could see a lightning bolt permanently sticking out of the ground. That smell of O2 during storms was extra pungent. I could see everything for a mile through the darkness that somehow seemed bright as day. Then in one fluid motion, my grandma and aunt got out and went to the porch. One grabbed Egg, the other opened the door and screamed something like, You're not welcome here anymore. Leave her alone. She doesn't want to play anymore. And then after that, the rest of the night felt like a blur. And then that was it. She never had a problem with storms again. It turned out, some years before we ever lived there, a little boy had drowned in the creek after it had flooded from a bad thunderstorm. My grandma and aunt had done research into the history of the area and found that out. I guess he just wanted to play with someone one last time. Case file number 461, written by Comprehensive B29. The secrets behind the universe's curtains. 
A few months ago, my twin sister and I, 22 female, were eating dinner in my room while we watched a Netflix show. We had carried our meals to my room using trays because we each had a soup bowl, a plate, and a cup. We couldn't carry all of it in one trip. We don't normally use trays for our food, just this one occasion. After dinner, we're both picking up our plates and bowls and setting them back on the tray to carry downstairs. When the glasses clink against each other on the tray, I get this overwhelming sense of déjà vu. As if I've done this exact action, crouching down, picking up plates and the glass clinking. It was chilling, almost like a memory. I turned to my sister and she has this weird look on her face. I told her I just got déjà vu and she said, The same thing happened to me when I picked up my tray, I just didn't mention it. We talk about it, a little creeped out, then carry on about our business. As I'm about to walk down the stairs, she stops me and says, Be careful going down the stairs. And then halfway down the steps, I slip and my tray and plate goes tumbling down the steps. I hurt my tailbone pretty badly. Couldn't sit correctly for like a week. But other than that, I'm fine. I know this doesn't seem super crazy or out of the ordinary, but the fact we both experienced déjà vu at the exact same time was unsettling for both of us. What do you guys think? Case Notes, file number 461. There have been quite a few déjà vu glitches in the past month alone, let alone the past year. Am I the only one noticing that they're increasing? And it's not just the stories I'm picking, there are just more everywhere. I'm thinking there is some event coming soon, no idea what. I can feel something in my bones, if that makes sense. Maybe these déjà vus are a sort of sixth sense we're picking up on, extra information, causing the brain to glitch out a bit. Perhaps the developers of this server are feeding us extra info, but they have to be subtle in order to not be fired or disciplined in the real world. Sadly for you, you still fell down even after the warning. Sounds painful, damn tailbones. Case file number 462, written by Anonymous. Secrets of Forbidden Knowledge. About five years ago, one of my... 18 female co-workers at my old job didn't show up for her shift one day. The next time we worked together, I asked why she called out the other day. We just so happened to be in the presence of one of our supervisors and we were all standing close to the entrance. She told us that her house had flooded because her younger brother left the faucet running right before her family went out to dinner. They came back to the house being mildly flooded. Unfortunate, but not too crazy of a story. The next day at work, me, the same coworker, and the same supervisor were standing in the exact same spot as the day prior, close to the entrance, and were talking. I asked my coworker how her house and family were doing. She asked me what I'm talking about and why I would ask that. I said because of her house flooding, of course. She became very visibly upset and bothered and demanded to know how I knew that her house flooded. I became very confused and asked does she not remember telling me literally just yesterday. She insisted that she didn't tell me about her house flooding and demanded to know how I found out this information. I was bewildered and convinced she must be messing with me. She 100% told me and our supervisor about her house flooding. I turned to our supervisor and was like, didn't she tell us about her house flooding yesterday? Expecting an obvious yes in response. However, our supervisor said she had no idea that her house flooded. It's the first she's heard about it. I am stunned into almost silence and am incoherently babbling trying to explain that she definitely did tell us this. My coworker cuts me off and says, there's absolutely no way you would have known about that. I haven't told anyone about my house flooding aside from our GM, general manager, not even, insert another coworker's name who is also this coworker's best friend. If I haven't even told her about that, why the hell would I tell you? She literally looked at me with disgust and stormed off. At that point in time, I'm still convinced that it was some sort of elaborate prank and asked the supervisor who witnessed this whole thing about it again. And she still maintained that she was unaware about her house flooding. If it is a prank, they're keeping to it. This disturbed me greatly, but it's just so weird and insane that I was still convinced they gotta be messing with me or something. So anyway, the next time I worked with that flooded house coworker, I said hello to her and she just glared at me in response and walked off. After that day, it was never the same. We worked together for another 6 months or so and she continued to avoid me. 
She was rude to me when we did have to interact and treated me as if I was some stalker creep that was obsessed with her. I swear on my life that she told me about her house flooding. I remember it very vividly. But her reaction to me knowing was so intense, I don't really think she was faking that. My supervisor also maintained that she never actually told us about it. I even talked to her best friend about it, who also said she had not previously known about the house flooding. Her best friend told me that it was always best to just leave the topic alone and to leave flooded house girl alone. I have no explanation for this and when I tell people about this situation, they just tell me I'm freaking crazy or making it up. I don't know how to explain it. I don't even believe in parallel universes, but I don't know what else it could be besides a switch up in my timelines. I don't know. It haunts me though. I think about it all the time and it just makes me feel sick.